to 11-6 in the eighth. Top of the eighth, Eric Bell plunks Wally Joyner. Bottom of the same inning, you know what's coming. Neil Heaton throws behind Albert Bell. Both teams get a warning. Remember, very next pitch, again, behind Bell. The umpire throws Heaton out. Albert Bell isn't satisfied with that. Takes matters into his own hands, quite literally. The coaches get into it. The bench is still. McCray was suspended. Brett from Miller with the bases loaded in the seventh. No, no, don't ask me all these stupid <laughs> questions. No. And in in the. God, all these stupid <laughs> questions every night. Find the when I hit Brett from Miller. Miller signed the game. Standing against left, and pitches. Brad is not playing against left, and the pitches. Why the f I bat for Miller? You think I'm a damn fool? Tired all these questions every night. And stay out here asking all these dumb questions. Stupid. Sick and tired. I'm fed up with every thing. No from you guys. No from you players. And they can do any mother thing they want to do. I'm sick and tired of all this bull Now, put that in your f***ing pack and smoke it. Brett, home run. one nothing Royals. Wally Joyner, a fly ball to left. Luis Polonia makes the play. Comes up throwing. Felix Jose, see, is he safe? But he's called out. Al McCray lets Derwood Merrill know what he thinks of the call. And guess what? He's gone. Top six, 3-1 Mariners, Hendu to left. Initially called fair. Oh, Lou Pinella didn't like that. He comes out and argues, and the ump, Dave Phillips, says, sweet Lou, you're right. Foul ball. Oh, Hal McCray's going to come out. Hal, you're gone. And Hal says, I'm not leaving. So the umps actually call security, and before security could get there, Hal turns around and heads for the lock. Honeycutt pitching, 1-0 Rangers. Two on, no outs. David Howard, 3-0 count, looks like a ball. Hal McCray doesn't agree, it's called a strike. The arguing begins, Hal animated, upset, livid in fact. He's gone, he's tossed, he's out of here. He's exiting uh, the stadium. Bench coach Billy Hatcher taking over duties. Why, because Hal McCray got tossed before the game started. All right. He was angry about a call from Friday night. Huff. It's now 3-1 Toronto, but Prokopek has not forgotten. He squares Huff in the ear hole. Huff would stay in the game. Bottom seven, we're tied at four. Joe Kennedy pitching for the D-Rays. He hadn't forgotten that transgression. And so he chucks it at Ken Huckabee's head. Kennedy's thrown out of the ball game. Hal McCray comes out because it's baseball, one of those unwritten rule deals. You throw at us, we throw at you. Both benches clear. Blue Jays, though, go on to win five to four. Nobody fought. Grab top second ones at Tampa. Canyon Sturge, former driller, hits Manny Ramirez in the back. Some bad blood between these teams. It goes way back. What would Frank Castillo do? Retaliate? Well, first let's flash back to May 5th of this year. Castillo hit Randy Wynn. Remember why? You gotta go farther back in the game. Because Ryan Roof, the starter, hit Nomar. You don't hit the star players. Well, you shouldn't anyway. You shouldn't hit anybody. It's assault. Roop hit Shea Hill and Brandt. After that, Trot Nixon accidentally forgot to hang onto his bat. Almost decapitated Roop. Bat went flying. For Abernathy. Oh, I guess I'll give it back to him. So we go back to Thursday. Bottom. Top nine. 4 3. Boston Espanyan. Oh, hits Manny Ramirez. They just play dodgeball when these two teams get together, apparently. Doug Mirabelli says, You got to run him. Al McCray and Jan do get ejected. Look again. Scary for Manny. He would be fine, and the Red Sox would be fine, too. They win. Monday, so Tuesday, Lee Gardner pitching Lou Marloni, and he got it. Immediately ejected by Jerry Croft. Hal McRae argues Red Sox crush the D-Race 12 when these teams hit each other constantly. They never play nice. 